The upcoming live action Snow White movie has been in hot water from the moment it was announced and things have only gotten more complicated since the release of the trailer as fans seem to absolutely hate it and Rachel Zegler isn't happy about it. Fans of the original animated classic have not been shy about voicing their displeasure with some of the creative choices Disney has been making this whole time, with the most controversial aspect being the casting of Rachel Zegler. The movie has had to go through many revisions to end up where it is today, but despite the constant delays, fans are still extremely displeased with what seems to be the final result. Originally scheduled for a 2024 release, the movie was pushed back to 2025 due to reshoots and the SAG after strike. These delays have only deepened concerns about the film's quality, as reshoots often mean that the production is having a hard time seeing the final vision, which has become extremely apparent now. The newly released trailer for the movie has only heated fans up more, which has been quite shocking to see. Usually trailers help fans see the true vision behind what has been advertised of a movie, and most often seem to calm some of the fears that fans have with the production. However, it looks like there is no saving this one as fans have only gotten more upset. The reaction to the trailer and even Rachel's role in it has shown that Disney is in extremely hot waters and it would truly take a miracle to save this one. Stay tuned to hear exactly why fans are more upset than ever before and why Rachel's reaction to the backlash has only made things worse for Disney. While Disney definitely expected some backlash since they decided to change the iconic character, it doesn't look like they were prepared for quite the amount of displeased fans we've seen ever since the announcement. For many longtime Disney fans, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs isn't just any movie, it's a milestone which could be argued is what built the Disney brand as we know it today. Released in 1937, it was the very first feature-length animated film produced by Disney and laid the foundation for every other Disney classic that followed. Walt Disney himself took a massive risk creating it and it paid off in a big way, establishing the company as a major player in Hollywood and putting Snow White at the forefront of children's fairy tale movie. So naturally, any major deviations from the original film were bound to stir up some strong reactions and fans aren't pleased with the way the studio has seemingly chosen to ignore the cries of fans who are missing the spark from the original movie. Rachel Zegler has also been at the center of much of the controversy surrounding the new remake as many fans were not thrilled to see her cast as Snow White because of her appearance. However, it's her off-screen remarks that have truly made things harder for skeptical fans. Rachel has referred to the original Snow White as dated and had some major issues with the way the original movie portrayed the character and her storyline. It was especially her relationship with the prince that put her off, which is why she felt like a change needed to be made. She's not going to be safe with the prince and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she she can be and the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless fair brave and true these comments didn't sit well with fans who have a deep attachment to the original movie many saw her remarks as dismissive of the film's legacy as fans accused her of disrespecting walt disney's original vision and called out the company for allowing this to happen but things didn't change despite the backlash in another interview rachel also expressed that she found the original snow white extremely scary as a child and criticized how Disney historically portrayed its princesses. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. <laughs> like, I'm being so serious. I watched it once and then I went on the ride in Disney World, which was called Snow White Scary Adventures. Doesn't sound like something a little kid would like. Was terrified of it never revisited Snow White again. While Rachel's intention may have been to comment on how movies have changed over the years, the fans took it personally as many actually called for her to be completely replaced in the movie. And it seems like something definitely worked as news of another actress portraying a younger Snow White in the movie started circulating around. It seems like the backlash wasn't easy for Disney to ignore as rumor says that the main role has been heavily split between the new child actress and Rachel in hopes that fans would 
be able to sympathize with the younger actress. However, this doesn't seem to have been heavily advertised by Disney, as Rachel is still very much at the forefront of the movie, taking all the hits from angry fans. Another massive point of contention has been Disney's decision to reimagine the dwarves. In the original film, Snow White's seven dwarves are one of the most beloved aspects of the story. So when news broke that the live action version would replace the dwarves with magical creatures, fans were understandably upset. The issue became even more complicated when actor Peter Dinklage, who is known for his role in Game of Thrones, publicly criticized Disney for continuing to use dwarf characters in the first place, saying it was a backward portrayal. I was a little taken back by the very, very, they were very proud to cast a, a Latino actress as Snow White. Yeah. But you're still telling the story of Snow still White. Snow White, yeah. Seven Dwarfs. Sure. So, look, take, take a step back and look at what you're doing there. It makes no sense to me. But, oh, so... What, you what, be, you're progressive in one way, and then, but you're still making that fucking backward... Oh, story of about seven dwarves <laughs> living in a cave. To get, what the f are you doing, man? We, we, you know. In response to his comments, Disney decided to change the characters, deciding to portray them as magical creatures rather than real life dwarves. This decision, however, didn't sit well with many fans who had hoped to see the beloved characters come to life with actual actors playing the roles. Instead, viewers were disappointed when the trailer revealed the CGI creations, which many felt were awkward and completely disconnected from the charm of the original dwarves. Fans also took issue with the overall look of the movie as the over-reliance on CGI felt like a cheap way out, removing some of the magic and whimsy from the original movie. The film's very muted color palette and heavy visual effects ended up being a huge point of criticism, as many felt like it looked extremely boring and desaturated compared to the original 1937 movie and even other Snow White adaptations. Critics pointed out that Disney's live action remakes tend to rely too much on CGI, often stripping away the magic that made the original so special. The dwarves seem to be the last straw for many viewers who were already on the fence about the movie. If Disney was hoping the trailer would ease some of the controversy and win over skeptical fans, they were sorely mistaken. When the first Snow White trailer was released, it was only met with an avalanche of negativity. In fact, the trailer quickly racked up over a million dislikes on YouTube, a rare feat even in today's highly critical internet culture. Comments poured in criticizing nearly every aspect of the film, from its visual style to the casting decisions. Nothing about this screams live action, green screen, and Shrek level CGI. But at least Peter Dinklage got his wish to pull the step stool up behind him and make sure seven little people didn't get some of the most iconic roles in storytelling. Cannot wait to see just how much a failure this is for Disney. One of the prettiest animated movies becomes the most hideous looking Disney live action yet. God, these movies are so hideous. The excitement that usually accompanies the release of a Disney trailer was nowhere to be found. Instead, audiences were left underwhelmed, feeling that this new version lacked the heart and charm of the original. The CGI dwarfs were a major sticking point, but even small details like Rachel Zegler's wig became a talking point. I don't know what it is, but I hate the Snow White live action wig. Everything else gets me so excited. But I see the wig and I'm like, oh. Viewers found the wig extremely distracting, with some going as far as to say it looked more like a costume from a Halloween store than something from a big budget Disney production. In fact, the backlash for the trailer was so bad that the trailer actually garnered a record number of dislikes on YouTube. Congratulations to the live action Snow White trailer on reaching 1 million dislikes. Fans weren't shocked to see this reaction as many felt like it was extremely deserved and hopefully would work as an eye-opener for Disney. One million dislikes, Disney you've outdone yourself, Snow White looks like it'll be worse than the Marvels, their last box office mega flop. Strange how this happens when you cast a brown activist Snow White and don't use real dwarves, weird, weird, go woke, stay broke. That's what happens when you're not faithful to the story. Rachel initially thanked fans for their support for the trailer in a tweet saying, I love you all so much. Thank you for the love and for 120 M views on our trailer in just 24 hours. What a whirlwind. However, as time showed, most people were incredibly upset seeing the trailer and the backlash has only grown after the first day of its release. Despite the trailer having almost 10 million views on YouTube, the dislikes have only grown past the 1 million mark.
Network, showing what fans truly think of the movie. And it looks like Rachel is completely done acknowledging the criticism as she has seemingly been chased off social media after the release of the trailer. Fans have been shocked to see her be so silent online, but many are speculating that the massive backlash has made it hard for her to exist in online spaces. However, as some people pointed out, Rachel is quite busy at the moment with her and Kit Connors, Romeo and Juliet play on Broadway, which might be one of the reasons why Snow White has taken a back seat for her. Do you guys think Rachel can salvage her reputation after the horrendous trailer reaction? Let me know down below and don't forget to check out this other video for more.